Hey, this is Kev from Blender Bits. In this quick video, I want to show you layers in Blender. Not the most exciting thing, but they certainly help keep your scene organized, especially when you start doing larger and larger things. Ready? Let's go. If you look down here at these 20 little boxes, you'll see that there's one, one is highlighted blue with an orange dot in it. That means that this is the selected layer that you're on and that something inside that layer is selected. So if I were to just create a cube and now if I click on the other layer, any other layer, you'll see that the cube and the camera that were in that layer disappear and now you have an empty looking scene. If I go back to the dot, okay, the square with the dot, that's where my cube is. The orange dot tells you that something is selected inside that layer. So if I were to go to another layer, say I just click any random layer here, okay? So I click on any random square that turns on a new layer, and I hit sphere. And I'll go to another layer, and I'll do cone, and I'll go to another layer, and I'll hit torus. So now you see that you have these other layers now have these gray dots in it. And the torus is selected, so that shows up orange in the highlighted layer. Okay, this is the visible layer, is the one that's highlighted blue. It's a little bit lighter than the rest of these layers. And it looks like the button is pushed down. That tells you that you're on this layer and that something in this layer is selected. So if I were to go to this layer over here, okay, my ball layer, or sphere layer, you see that it's still grayed out. If I select the sphere, now that turns orange, that's active, and everything else is deselected. So what I can also do is if I want to operate or work on a number of different layers at the same time, I can hold down shift on my keyboard and click on each one of these layers. And now I'm working on every layer at the same time. So I can move things around, I can click, I can drag, I can move things and I'm working on all these different layers at the same time but if I want to go back and say I just don't want to see any of this stuff and I only want to see the sphere I can select the sphere it tells me which layer the sphere is on because it turns orange and I can just click on that and isolate it and work just on the sphere alone what I can also do is if I wanted to get rid of this layer I can select the sphere okay and I can Control C, let's copy it. Say I want to put it in this in this layer. Control V to paste, and I can go back to the layer that it was in and delete it. And now it's gone. You don't see a little dot in there. This layer is back to having nothing in it, and everything now is in this one layer here. I can do the same with these other things. Hold down Shift. I can select by shift clicking both of these, copy them, go here, hit control V to paste, and I can go back and I can delete these out of these layers. Delete, gone, now everything is back in this layer. So hopefully that makes sense. But like I said, this is a really short video, but layers are really, really cool in allowing you to break up your work and keep things really, really organized. Okay, so sometimes, let's say you're building a, a video game and you're building an environment and you're building a, a bridge and you have the support structures in one layer and you would have the bridge pieces in another layer and the road in another layer and maybe street lights in another layer. And you can work on all those separate until it's time to bring it all together. So hopefully that makes sense. Go into Blender after this video and play around with this and start getting a feel for how this works. It's very useful when you really start getting into modeling and building things. So if you got anything out of this video, please hit like and subscribe, and I will keep making more. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.